Hello YouTube, it's Melissa Hennig here and it's been quite a while but I thought I'd make a video. It's, it's super hot. I'm sitting in 105 degree weather and I'm six months pregnant. Yay! My belly, you can't really tell because I'm kind of sitting down but <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about prenatal care and self-care. Really because prenatal care is self-care. That's the best prenatal care you can give yourself is really it's through great nutrition. It's through exercise, awareness, fresh air, spring water. It's through the things we do every day to stay really really healthy and you just take it take it on over into pregnancy. So this I, I feel like I started a routine of a prenatal care and I didn't know better. This is my first pregnancy and it, I was with a licensed midwife and that means that she's ruled, she has rules and regulations and a, a list super long by the government of things that she has, to she has to participate in or she will lose her license. And so I had noticed that I'm, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm strong. And she kept having me come in and come in and just checking blood pressure and weight and it was all this these physical tests from the outside and the whole thing is is pregnancy it starts from within and so does health it all aligns it's all in here it's not an outside thing going on so I actually have found another midwife and I'm gonna be doing a, an unassisted birth and it, the whole thing's different, you know, it's, it's okay, it's whatever I feel intuitively I should be doing during my prenatal time. She, she trusts me and she trusts my body and she trusts her clients and she doesn't just take anybody that she doesn't think is strong enough to go through with an unassisted birth and isn't healthy. So, you know, I just think... It, it, uh, an obstetrician can only do so many tests and so much from the outside and it's really dependent on on us to take care of ourselves and uh, mostly with nutrition wh which I always have believed in anyways that that's the foundation of feeling really good so I'm feeling really good I'm six months and I haven't had any had a little bit of morning sickness in the beginning, that was rough, but then the second trimester's been amazing, and I do wanna g give a lot of the credit to not eating canola oil, and processed foods, and refined sugars, and things out of packages, but just a really whole food, nutrient-dense diet, bone broths, and meat, and eggs, and a lot of raw milk, and fresh fruits and vegetables that are steamed, Excuse me. Um, so I believe in food. You don't even. I mean, the prenatals are your choice. If if you want to take them, you can take them. If you're not getting a, a nutrient dense diet, and if you feel like you don't need them, then you don't need them. You can get all everything you need through food and water and sunshine and feeling emotionally in the right place and accepting everything that's coming your way and not fighting. The natural flow of life here. Um, there's a, something else. Oh yeah, so I'm 39 and pregnant, and I'm high risk in the conventional world, and I don't believe in it at all. I feel really good and really healthy, and I don't, I don't believe in high. I mean, how could I possibly be high risk because of a number? You know, I feel like age is just. Um, it's a number, it's a marker to, to just, it's a marker on how many years we've been on this planet and it, other than that it's irrelevant. So if there's any older women that want to be mamas, I think it's all going to be okay if you take care of yourself first with self-care, good nutrition, take time alone, take long walks, take hot baths, do yoga, read, whatever it is that's going to satisfy you, fulfill you, nurture you physically, emotionally, and mentally. All right, talk to you soon.